Well, this is gonna be a tough battle. Ah, okay. You're both 10 levels stronger than me. I mean, I could go sleep, but I doubt it would bring me too much higher in terms of level, and I am almost dead because of the freaking gas. Holy. Seems like the wife is the one that teleports. I am gonna be dead from the gas because of the wife. Her farts are strong. But thankfully, she's weak against physical attack. Though, so as a result, I am able to defeat her a lot easier. Oh gosh, I was not expecting the- okay, partially because I didn't see the husband as I wasn't paying attention to the husband. Oh gosh, toxic farts. Back off man. I want to kill the- Life because ability wise, the life is weak against melee damage, is which is what I have. Her toxic farts is really annoying. I wonder, can I cheese it? I don't, don't want to risk it because, like, if I can't cheese it. That doorway. Would be like my death, basically. So much room to move around here. Oh my goodness. Got wrecked. Alright. Things are not going well. Ooh, money. Nice. But that wombo combo though, that that was what I was afraid of. Ooh. Being stuck in the mist and then the husband's crazy damage. Oh bro, I swear I hit at the right time. Okay, first the husband, now you basically start back at square one, but I have a disadvantage. Great. I love this game. I know I was being a bit sarcastic. Oh my gosh, I am almost dead when I said that, but I do love this game. It's just... The difficulty definitely skyrockets if you don't fight people. Nice try. Nice try. Like I got staggered somehow. My fingers got jammed up for a second. Oh gosh. Holy. Holy, holy, holy. Okay. Concentrate. Last time I got wrecked when I was too confident. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because there's so many things you can bump into and stuck on. Why am I not healing? I'm supposed to be healing. I teleported, I swear. Nope. 
I need blood. I am not healing. Why am I not? Oh my goodness. Can't really move as you do your healing thing. That's what I just noticed. Hands are sweating so much. I don't want to. I don't want to die again, especially coming this far. But I think once I take one down, it's gonna be better. Probably won't be a lot. Ooh, yes. Won't be like a lot. Yes, 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 yes. Still can't take it easy just because still strong regardless. And levels above you. Ooh, my health was a lot lower than I expected. my claw. Oh yeah. Because of the poison that I'm not healing as much as I like. Still pretty tanky, not gonna lie. Compared to the husband who's like physically resistant. Not at all not as tanky, but still tanky in her own ways being a level 27. Biting me anymore, or attempting to bite me. That's interesting. Nope, never mind. Hope they see. Oh gosh. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. Hey. Oh. I did it after being very stubborn about it and not. Oh, well, that was a bummer getting wrecked by these. They are still alive. Does that really make sense that- wait, what? Okay, let me just stop. Okay, yeah, so it seems like they- oh, right. Uh, they do- they do respawn. Uh, unfortunately, they don't give EXP 
from what one reddit user said oh my goodness however they still drop like parts the uh, good handle parts for the guns and all that jazz um, so it is a consideration, but like, I don't use guns, I think. I'm not sure if the parts would be also good for upgrading a weapon, but if it is, I might come back to like, farm, but it's such a struggle. It took me like, five tries just to... Okay. Oh well, I'm back here again. What a freaking bummer. Ooh. Gas bomb. Your best opportunity was like three on one, but you messed that up. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm getting wrecked. When I'm not supposed to be getting wrecked. I was overly confident. Hey man, let's... We got off on the wrong start. Let's, how about we start again? Or not. Hey. Why is she so strong for a level 26? Gee, she's fast. Yep. And we oh. Yeah, well, I can't believe I'm oh, doing weak. This. Get up, stop complaining. This is despicable. Yeah, shut up. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please, Joe. How long will we know each other? I never notice. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, she said. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. Only I could be tough, though. Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, 
What can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot. He makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's yeah, why the you skulls. stay all day. For fear of the epidemic. I'm not that afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Oh, interesting. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. But you can't really say that. You may join it for a different reason. Have you any- I don't believe- Goodbye. Ooh, sepsis. I don't know what sepsis is. I love how this game automatically kind of pauses in if you're AFK for too long. Alright, I am back here. Time to rest and evolve and get stronger. Alright. Endurance. Ooh, not level 18. Oh, that's fine. Law. Blood gain, stun. I don't really care about stun. It's 3k. Holy. And it's 2k. I don't have enough. Aside from that, uh, you lose control and you let the beast take over for a short time. Good. Stay. Yeah, I mean, my stamina is not amazing, but it's good enough. Because I don't bite anymore. There's like no reason for me to. Oh, I need three. I need level two. Right, so because I don't fight anymore, there's no point of me getting getting I might as well use the blood I spent on that something else. Six level eight level six. Oh great. Now I am stuck. Might as well increase health. 
stamina. Level eight. Level eight. Two. And level and eleven. Fifteen. Things. Oh, flight capacity. Can I? Yes, I can. Nineteen. Still nineteen. Thousand five hundred. Almost maxed out on my stamina and my I think I'm happy with this. 